Hey Fab Bosses, in today's video I'm going to show you how I turned this blog post into this gorgeous ebook that is so well laid out and formatted. Let's get right into it. The tool I'm going to be using for this tutorial is a tool known as Designer. So to get started with your project, you're going to go to start a new project. And Designer is a paid tool. I got it for $27 for lifetime access, which is amazing. Um, you can definitely upgrade to their more higher levels, but for what I needed, this was perfect. And so I'm on the standard plan. So you can also get the standard plan. I'm going to leave a link. It's my affiliate link in the description. You can um, click through and check that out. Okay. So for our purposes, we're going to turn this blog post right here into the ebook. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy the link for the specific blog post I want to use for this tutorial. Go back into designer and then in designer, you're going to see different options. And one of those options is to turn a blog post into a PDF right here. Okay. So we're going to click on that and then you're going to post the link from the blog post. So we're going to paste that and we're going to fetch the blog post. So it, it's just a few seconds and then it fetches it. If you wanted to combine a few blog posts, you could go back to the blog, find another blog post. All right, open that up. So let me see if I'll find another blog post. So I could go to this blog post here that I wrote a, a while ago, open that up as well, copy the link and then paste that. So let's do that. Let's copy the link. Go back into designer and then paste that right here and then fetch that as well. And you could do this for as many blog posts as you want. All right. Then once you fetch the blog post that you want in this PDF ebook, you click on next and then you can choose a template. That's one of the things I love about designer is that about 95% of the design is done for you. You can definitely um, customize, but you can choose from any of these already made templates for the cover and design of your book. So I personally am going to choose this one right here and you can preview them before you use them. So now it says we are preparing your ebook. And as soon as that happens, if you go into it, you'll see that your blog post has already been turned into an ebook. Now, at this point, I think the only thing that you may want to customize, depending on what you need to customize, would be the cover, right? You may want to change like the text on the cover to reflect what is in the PDF, all right? Um, and I'm going to show you how you can customize that. You may also want to go through and get rid of any images that you don't want. So for instance, I have Google AdSense on my blog. And so if I scroll down and images like this that I don't want, you know, I could just take them out. You, you just click on it. Essentially, I'll show you another one. <laughs> so essentially you would something like this. You would just click on that image. All right. And then using your your delete button on the keyboard, your computer keyboard, you would just click delete. And so you can do that for any portions of the blog post that you want to get rid of. All right. Because maybe it's outdated or maybe it's, it doesn't serve the purpose for this ebook. But if you want to keep everything in, you absolutely have the choice, you know, and then also when you write a blog post, you may say things like, for instance, in this, in this, uh, book i say something like disclosure this post contains affiliate links that that's obviously more suited for blog posts right so i would click on that and then get rid of that you can also get rid of it by just clicking this bin button right here and it gets rid of that okay so it's pretty much done right but you can further customize this as you can see there's author name you could go ahead and click on this and um, edit it so that, so let's click on that and I can just put my name, Gertrude Nantra or G. All 
okay um, if you wanted to change the text up here you could change this as well in my case this is um 19 ways so let's do that double click it okay 19 ways to and then I'll just can move we can move the other thing is you can move the elements around so let me move that 19 ways to we'll get rid of this here we can get rid of this text over here and then over here we can if we wanted to change the size of this so once you open the um the text here right so I should have shown you that first but once you open this here there is a dialog box of all the things you can do to customize this text you can change the color you can change the text you can change the font size you can make it thin or thick or bold um, you can change the line height you can change the letter spacing so there's a lot that you can do right here within this dialog box with the text okay so 19 ways to this text is too big for my liking so I'm going to go ahead and maybe reduce this okay and then okay reduce to about a hundred and then um, to boost your online presence all right since over here it seems like the letters are too close together since I'm right there in that dialog box I can move this this here so that exactly so that we have that again if I felt like this text was just too much too big still I could definitely go here and you know change that to whichever one I wanted okay okay this may look okay and then you once you hover over you can move the the text whichever way you want so that's one way that you can customize the page cover is just by putting your own words on the cover you can also change this whole cover to reflect your specific brand colors or you know whatever your brand is you can change that okay so I have like a br brand colors so what you can do here is click click up here and it's gonna select all the page content so you want to click up here right you don't want to delete it but what you do want to do is change the background so again if you come into this dialog box over here you'll see where it says background okay you can change the background color or you can change the background image so to change it to an image that I designed in Canva and I, I went ahead and designed this in Canva 19 ways to boost your online presence okay you can do that and then going back into designer I'm going to just go ahead and delete all of these okay delete that I'm gonna delete that when I was preparing for this video, I found out that this whole thing is a background. We can delete this as well. Okay. It says I cannot do that. So what you're going to do is go into background image, go into media manager, and then you're going to upload. You can upload your images right here where it says upload images, and then you can upload it from your computer. So once I do, I do that, then I'm going to do click on use and then now my cover image is changed okay so once you do this you want to make sure you you save so that you don't lose any of these changes as you move along or if like your internet disconnects you don't want to lose that so make sure you save as you're moving along okay another thing you can do again i said i talked about brand colors right so when we chose this design and designer um this heading um, color background is different it's like this teal color or whatever this color is <laughs> so I wanted to change it to my brand colors right and so what you want to do is click on that and again using this dialog box you can come here where it says um, color okay and then you can if you know the hex codes for your brand colors you can simply put that in there and so in my case I want this to reflect my book cover and so I'm gonna go ahead and put 
the hex code, which is this dash and a number and alphanumeric um, combination that we have here. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. So I have Okay, so now it's changed to this color that I have here and then I can choose that color. And then if you want to apply this to all the headers that are on the pages, we have around um, what some 20 something pages. Okay, if I wanted to do that, I would then go where it says changes, make changes to all elements. I would turn that on. And then for some reason, I must also click this here where it says apply text to all headers. And when I click on that, it will bring up, you know, a fair bit, a dialogue box and I can click OK. And then as you can see, all of the headers on the rest of the pages change as well. How cool. You can do the same thing for the footer right here. You can go ahead again, change the color, make sure you turn that on and then click on that apply to all of it and then all the other pages as you can see will have that same footer they're already page numbers and doesn't this look pretty already it looks beautiful so just like i said you could go through this and make sure to delete any elements you don't want simply by hovering over them and using the delete button on your keyboard and then once you are done okay you can preview it by hitting this little eye icon right here at the bottom and you can take a look at it I admit it doesn't give you the best 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 preview but it kind of gives you an idea of um, you know of what is there and then once you've done previewing it you can close that and then you can go ahead and publish this now there are a few ways that you can publish this you can definitely publish this as a pdf which is what we were doing <laughs> for this video anyway um and then export it one of the things you can do though is also generate a flipbook embed code and essentially this will be a piece of html code that you can that will be generated through designer you can copy and paste that into let's say your website and you can essentially make it so that people can click through and access the flipbook okay so here where it says generate flipbook embed code we can do that All right, and then you can generate and copy. So you can copy this right here. So if that's something you wanna do, you can do that, okay? Now, if you want to just save it as a PDF, that's fine. You can just name it uh, 19 Ways Ebook. You can just name it whatever you want. You can write your name, then you can export it. Now it's done, you can download your PDF file. You can actually also open the flipbook and see what that looks like. Now, when you generate this, know that all the links are still clickable. So any links that were in your blog posts will still be clickable inside of this beautifully outlined um, ebook. And then you can also And then you can also download your PDF file and voila, how pretty is this? Beautiful, isn't it? So anyway, that's how you can take the content that you've already written in a blog post, turn it into an ebook, a beautiful ebook, and use this as a lead magnet, sell it, or do whatever it is that you want with it. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share this video if you found it helpful.